turn to the coaches involved in last Friday's attack on a high school football referee. The University Interscholastic League held an emergency meeting in Round Rock to talk about what happened and in particular the culture on the John Jay High School football team. KXN's Chris Sodegi looks at what's next in this case. No punishments were announced. The UIL committee said they wanted to gather as much information as they could, but they made it very clear they are very disturbed. This short clip has been played over and over, but the UIL showed equal concern for everything that happened before. Uh, the behavior of the sideline and the players in the game uh, could, could signal that there is a culture issue, but I think we need more than just one game report. What we can't see in the clip is John Jay players getting multiple personal fouls, ejections, talking trash, according to fans and officials. The district superintendent and athletic director face questions on if the culture of the team was to blame. We don't believe the actions of those two young men are representative of the rest of the, of the student athletes on that football team. So what were the coaches doing as things spiraled out of control? That's one of several investigations into this incident internal, external, even criminal. There's going to be continued investigation with the entire coaching staff of what transpired that night. One coach has already been placed on leave, and the UIL said there will be plenty of review, not just for the kids, but of the adults. It'll be at least a couple weeks before the UIL is ready to announce any punishments, but Northside ISD has said they've already suspended those two players from school and will hold those disciplinary hearings very quickly. In Round Rock, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. The committee also heard today from the director of the Officials Association regarding the accusations the referee, referee made racial slurs. The association said once a formal complaint is received, they will begin their investigation by interviewing the officiating crew. The OIL also wants to know what the crew did to keep things from getting out of hand that night. But the UIL does not have the ability to discipline referees. That is handled exclusively by the Texas Association of Sports Officials. They focus on two types of complaints. First, performance, or how well an official handles a game. And the second is ethics, which covers questions of cheating, bias, and situations like the allegation of using racial slurs.